on the menu today, my chicken wellington with my Diane sauce. Beef wellington, a beautiful dish. Actually, Gordon Ramsay does a beautiful beef wellington. Well worth the wait. Oh, that's amazing, Gordon. But I do have a schedule to keep. That's why people usually just leave me cookies. But I thought I'd turn it on its head and do a little chicken wellington instead of beef. If you're on a budget, it's a great dish too. Let's get on with it. We are going to start with a little mushroom at dark cell. Olive oil, mushroom chopped but not too fine. I like to have a little bit of bite on the mushroom duck cell. So that goes in. Now we've got chestnut mushroom here. You can use our, our Swiss brand. You can use um, button mushroom if you want to. It's all good. So mushroom in the olive oil. Then I've got some chopped shallots that go straight in as well. And put them all together. Just saute this for a few minutes. Then um, what's going to happen is the mushroom is going to really sit water and then steam out of it and get a beautiful texture to the duxel. Now time to put a little bit of butter, the garlic and the thyme. So time to add a little bit of wine, just a little bit of acidity in the mushroom is delicious. Now all you have to do is cook the mushrooms until the wine is all gone. Disappeared. In the meantime, what I've got to do is to drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the chicken breast. So I've got two beautiful chicken breasts. They're about nearly 400 grams. A little bit of pepper and also salt. All right, this duck cell is now ready. You see there's no more liquid. The mushrooms are cooked. It's smelling delicious. I'm gonna save it here aside. So next, all I'm gonna do is pan fry the chicken on both sides slightly just to keep the juices inside before I wrap it in this beautiful pastry. So that chicken, you just wanna sear it just a minute or so on each side. As I said, just to lock all the juices in. Now I've got some beautiful silver bits which I'm gonna take the stem off. The stem can be used for another recipe, braised, but we're only using the green today. And blanch them in salty boiling water and refresh. All right, now I've just laid out some prosciutto on a piece of glad wrap, or film as we call it. The next I'm gonna lay some of this beautiful silver bit blanched silver bit and what I'm doing here if you don't already know is I'm making a wrap like a, a little little bed I'm gonna put my little chicken in bed wrapped into the prosciutto and then we're gonna place one chicken breast like so with some beautiful mushroom duck cell covered with another chicken breast, but the other way around, as I call it, 69. And then, this is where things can become a little complicated. I'm gonna use the glad wrap to move uh, the prosciutto and the silver bits over the chicken. This is the hardest part of the recipe. It's not hard, it's just harder. It's just use the plastic to lift the prosciutto and a little bit of uh, the chicken, like so. And then continue on doing the same. All around. Turn that around. Now I'm gonna use the plastic to go around like so, squeezing the sides and then rolling. Ready to wrap in the puff. 
Now, I'm gonna use the puff pastry from Karen. You can use any other pastry on the market, but I believe this one is the best. I'm gonna put this tray where I'm gonna cook the uh, Wellington in the oven already. And the reason why I do that is because I want the tray to be hot. So when I put the Wellington on, the pastry starts already cooking before the top. So it doesn't get soggy on the bottom. It's a little trick, you might not understand it, but I do. Okay, so what you're gonna do is put your chicken right in the center there. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut a little corner out of here and a little corner out of here and do the same on the other side. Then pull this pastry over the top just like that and the other one just like that. So then all you have to do is go around that way. Brush the wash, just go around this way and cut what's extra at the end. And you've got a beautiful. So now uh, I can't put the plastic in the oven, so I'm going to swap it to a greaseproof paper, like this. And now we're going to do a little flute, what we call it in French, which means I'm going to do a little hole with using uh, a piping bag and nozzle. A little hole right here. Okay, and the reason why I do this is whatever steam that is locked into this pastry will steam out of it. All right, so that, and what I'm gonna do, I've kept some of the, those trimmings and I'm gonna use the other side, cut another disc and another hole in the middle. So I've got a little donut shape, like so. Then brush the entire pastry with egg wash. So this egg wash, usually you can use just egg yolk and water, egg yolk and milk. I've used egg yolk and cream to make it even richer. Then we put this little friends on top there. A little bit more of the egg wash. Now, as you remember, perhaps I've got a hot tray in the oven which I'm gonna get out, put that Wellington on, and... It was at this moment he knew. He f***ed up. Straight back, oh, for God's sake. Pick up it. It's not on. Get the tray out, nice and hot. Put the Wellington, Wellington straight on. So the Wellington is going to go in the oven for 20 minutes at 220. And then I'm going to reduce it to 200 for another 20 minutes. So I've got five minutes left on the Wellington, so it's time to heat the beautiful Diane sauce. I think it's time to check out on the chicken Wellington. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yes. Look at this little jewel. All right. Gordon, right my welly. I cannot wait to dig into this chicken wellington with those gorgeous grilled red wheat loaf with parmesan and of course, my beautiful dinosaurs. Bon appétit.